In this video, I am going to show you some of the projects which I have designed. I have also shared videos of some of these projects, and I have showed you step by step how to build them in Simulink. Today, I am just going to demonstrate these projects to show you how well these projects are designed. They are built simple and gives better results. If you want to buy one or more of these projects just type your email address in the comment line. I will then send you price of each of these projects. So, let's start. The first one is the buck converter. Let's start simulation of this converter. You can see, the voltage has been stepped down from 60 volts to almost 10 volts. Let us change the reference value of voltage. Let make it 24 and let's start simulation and see the results. So, the output is 23.95, which is almost 24 volts. So, if you guys want this Simulink model just drop your email in the comment line. Let me check the second model. This is the boost converter. Let's start simulation of this converter. Since the reference voltage is 60, the output is close to 60. Let's make the reference 100 volts. Now, its output is close to 100. The third one is the buck boost converter. Since the reference is 100 volts and the input is 48 volts, therefore, it's operating in boost mode. The output of a buck boost converter is always inverted and that's why the output is minus 99.72 which is almost equal to minus 100 volts. Let's change the reference voltage to 24 volts. It will be operating in buck mode. That is stepping down from 48 volts to 24 volts.
The next one is the Perturb and Observe MPPT for PV system with boost converter. The MPPT is capable of extracting maximum power from the PV array. Let me first check the power versus voltage curve and note the point of maximum power. Let's keep the irradiance constant and let's find MPP at 0 and 100 degrees Celsius. Delete this current versus voltage graph. And zoom this power versus voltage graph and let find MPP. The maximum power for 100 degrees Celsius occurs at 6,800. And maximum power for 0 degrees Celsius occurs at approximately 11,000. Let's start simulation. Let's make the temperature equal to 0 degrees Celsius. Start simulation. You can see the power is 10,990 which is very close to 11,000 just a difference of 10. Let's have a look at the curve again. It may be exactly operating at the MPP, since the MPP from the PV curve is just approximated to be 11,000. Let me change the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius. You can see the power is 6795, which is very close to the MPP approximated from the curve. Let again have a look at the curve. You can see the result is very close. You can see the voltages which are 210 and 345 volts approximately at 100 and 0 degrees Celsius respectively. You can see the voltage which is very close to 210. Let's also check the voltage at 0 degrees Celsius.
You can see this is almost 345 volts. So, this MPPT technique is extracting maximum power from PV array even when the temperature varies. Let now keep the temperature constant and change the irradiance. Let's have a look at the graph for 800 and 500 watt per meter square irradiances of sun. You can see the power at MPP is 8000 and 5000 watts for 800 and 500 irradiances respectively. Also, note the voltage for both irradiances, which are approximately 310 volts both. Let's change the irradiance here. Just make it 800. Also, set the temperature to 25 degrees Celsius. So you can see the maximum power is 8000, just same as noted from the PV curve. Also, the voltage is 310 volts. Let's change the irradiance to 500. Now the power is 4981 which is very close to 5000. The voltage is 309 volts which is close to the voltage at MPP. Let me show you what inside this MPPT block is. The next project is the Simulink model of a standalone PV system. This is the PV system. The output from the PV is inverted through this inverter. The output of inverter is connected to a load of 5.5 kW with a reactive power of 0.5 kV Zapier reactive. This is the voltmeter. This is the scope for plotting voltage versus time. This block is used to measure the RMS value of the output voltage and is displayed here. Let me show you this PV system block. It consists of a PV array, an MPPT using perturb and observe technique and a boost converter. This MPPT is capable of extracting maximum power from the PV array by controlling the boost converter. The output of the boost converter is given to inverter. The inverter block consists of an H bridge, and the switches are controlled through this controller. The output is passed through a low-pass LC filter to filter out higher frequencies. The output of this inverter is a sine wave of 50 Hz. A load of 5.5 kW is connected across the inverter's output. This is a resistive inductive load. The nominal voltage of the load is 220 volts RMS. Nominal frequency is 50 Hz. Active power of 5.5 kW and an inductive reactive power of 500 volts Zapier reactive. Let me show you how it works. Let wait for the system output to become stable. It will take time, therefore, I am going to skip some of the portion of this video.
you can see the output has been stabled at 227.3. This is the RMS value of the sinusoidal voltage. Let's check out this output sine wave. Let's have a close look. Now. Let me show you how much pure this sine wave is. You can see, the DHD is just 3.23%. You can also check the RMS value of voltage here, which is 227.7 volts. You can also display it in the form of bars. So, if you guys want to buy this project or any of these projects just drop your email address in the comment line. I will then send you the details. Thanks for watching.